Hey guys, what up? <laughs> How are you doing? I am doing fine, except this weather is driving me out of my mind. Of course, it's throwing the shit out of TJ because, oh, she says, well, you can't leave today. It's going to storm. <laughs> So I kind of looked at her and I said, uh, when am I, when am I going to be able to leave? <laughs> She's so funny. She's so funny. But I love her to death. Uh, yeah. Oh, Sammy is so ready to be on the road. We're getting closer. I'm on the side streets. <laughs> um, yeah, I uh, managed today, or actually last night, um, thanks to Jean's help, because I would have never been able to do it. I got my ring, doorbell ring, that camera thingy. Uh, I got that uh, set up in the van. So, when... Hold on, I gotta roll the window down a little bit. It's a little still in here. I need some. No, I didn't want to go down that far. Gosh. Just a little. Okay. Um, I got the ring where I wanted it. I got it set up to my phone. So I'm good to go. So um, uh, I got it for uh, uh, security reasons. You know, I'm thinking, all right, if I have to be out of the van, if it's, if it's cool enough for Sammy to be in the van by himself, you know, um, I want to be able to, not that I'm going to be gone for hours at a time, but I can see him, okay? I can, it, I've got it set up to where I can see the whole van, inside of the whole van. So if anything happens, I I can, uh, I can keep, keep an eye on him when I'm in a store or something, you know? Um, and then also if me and Sammy are out of the van and someone breaks in, I can have it on live when I'm out of the van. So I can see what's going on. So I thought that was a really good idea. I'm going to put the, the ring sticker on my window over here. So when someone tries to uh, get in the van, they'll see, hopefully they'll see that sticker and leave me alone. Okay. So I got that. Uh, and I actually placed it where I'm going to get some tape and tape it there. But... Uh, I got it up where my sunglasses, where they, you know, the place they say, oh, you keep your sunglasses here. Stop it, stop it. They're okay. They're okay, buddy. It's okay. They're gone. They're all gone. I know. How dare they walk by our van. <laughs> It's okay, honey. It's all gone. They're all gone. Yeah. They're all gone. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, ooh, it was, uh, I actually got my sorry self out of, uh, the bed this morning and went and vacuumed the van. I'm so proud of myself. Go me. Um... Uh, so I have arranged some things differently that I am storage type of stuff. So the things I very rarely use, like my um, my big, uh, you know, <sighs> jumper cables and uh, all my car fluids and stuff like that are going in the back outside so I don't have to wreck the van trying to find, oh, where's that? At? Or my laundry soap. Stuff I don't need inside. Okay? And stuff to where 
if some loser happens to steal my things off the back of my van, it ain't going to kill me, okay? I can buy more dish soap, or not dish soap, laundry detergent. I can buy more brake fluid, oil, blah, blah, blah. So I cleaned out one of the seat storage where the seats used to be. Um, so I'm going to put, uh, clean that all up. I'm going to put a big black trash bag down in there and put my uh, craft stuff in there. Um, so all I have to do is, it's going to be in the bag. I'm going to tie it up because the other side of my storage thing is a mess. Okay, I, I've de I have deliberately not done a thing with it because I just don't want to deal with it. <laughs> so on the good side, uh, I'm going to keep it in all uh, my, my, you know, my beads, my material, my part of my crochet stuff probably will be the things that I f actually finished because I found a whole bunch of yarn that I forgot I had. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, got that done. So all I have to do is wait for it to not rain as much and I can get that settled and I'll be ready to go. I'll be ready to go. Uh, yeah. So that's what I got going today. I was supposed to cut my chicken wire to fit the the uh, window here for Sammy. So I can have the window all the way down and there's no way he can get out. Because I'm going to shut the chicken wire in to... Well, I could probably do that right now. I could cut that right now. Maybe. Maybe. It's still... No, it's raining. Shit. Well, I can maybe do that later on uh, on the porch. I'm going to uh, measure out a piece that will go from the, the very front of the window all the way to the back. Maybe a four inch overlap. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to shut it in the door. Trap it in the door, okay? And that way, uh, this thing, this thing, my cookie, sh cookie rack, cookie cooler rack that I tied together and hung up there scares Sammy because it moves around. So I thought, well, wouldn't it be easier if I just, yeah, sucked it up and did something different? You know, I wish there was some kind of hook thing you could put over the door. I know policemen have them. But I don't know if they make them for regular people. But there's like a, a screen you can put up on your front window that hooks over the door. and But it doesn't bother the door. And it, I guess it kind of lays, you know, just hangs there. So, anyway. Oh, well, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Um, so maybe I'll do that right after I talk to you guys. And if I do that right after I talk to you guys and happen to get it uh, uh, done before dark, I will take a picture of it and show it to you guys. If not, I'll show you tomorrow. Okay? So, Sammy, what are you doing? I'm looking for food. Like, you guys are starving me to death. Oh, hey, you want to see something? I got, er, not I didn't, but TJ. Oh! That was not a smart move. Get down, Sam. Okay. Never mind, I'm not going to show you that right now. <laughs> I've had a little problem with my back lately. Okay. 
Yeah, I was going to show you his dog tag he got for Christmas, but uh, it's a little uh, it's a little tag with his name and the phone number on it, and it's um, uh, camouflaged. <laughs> so, but it's so heavy. It's it's the thing I have. It's supposed to go right down the center of the back where your your leash goes in, you know. And um, it's so heavy that it's bringing the top part of his uh, collar, what it, whatever it is called. Anyway, it's on his side. <laughs> it's not on the top. <laughs> oh, you poor thing. Anyway, uh... I think that's all, except that uh, TJ's all shook up about the mail stuff, because, uh, you know, here on the beach, she has a, a, uh, a post office box for mail, you know, and it cost, what was it, What'd she say? What'd she say, Sammy? <coughs> oh, okay. It costs $126 for six, $125 for six months to have just a little mailbox at the, po at the post office. Are you kidding me? Mm. <coughs> and uh, I said, well, you know, mine wasn't that bad. Mine up in Tennessee was was a hundred dollars for, for a whole year and she says well that's what it used to be before the pandemic hit and then they just use that as a opportunity to uh you know increase prices but it's like today it's five thirty. they just got their mail today <laughs> just just right now they just went in and uh uh, they just got the mail, and to ship anything, she, she, she's beside herself. Um, yeah, it's getting, you know, it, it, you used to send cards all the time, you know, how are you, nice little notes, how are you, blah, 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 little Valentine, my mom was the greatest she would send my kids, uh, oh gosh, Valentine cards and Easter cards and and Halloween cards and this and that. And it was so funny, but because in ho at Halloween she would have the little treat bags, but she'd stick a dollar in there, and oh, the kids were so excited about that. But now you'd have to. You'd, you'd have to put a 10 spot in to it before any kid would be happy now. But, um, yeah, this, that's why, you know, that's one reason I love to get mail, but that's one reason I understand people can't afford the price of mail and stuff now. It's just going up, 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 up. And uh, I understand. And, uh, but, hey. Are you ready to go? Are you ready to go in? Yeah. Okay. Calm down. It's getting too dark for them to see now. So, um, yeah, well, we're going to take off. Sorry, this wasn't really eventful, but I did get, I did, oh. I did get some things, uh, I did get some things accomplished today. Go me. So, you guys, uh, uh, I was supposed to ask something, but I can't remember what it was. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, anywho, um, yeah, I, one, uh, we were watching this video today. And uh, about this guy eating. And then I had a conversation with Tammy and Paul 
last night, and I said, oh my God, they're down, they're in middle South Florida, middle Florida, I guess. But I said, if you guys happen to go towards uh, Tampa and uh, Naples area in Fort La or in Florida, uh, there's wonderful a wonderful Cuban restaurant there that I got some. Oh, it was so good, black beans and rice with the uh, onion smothered uh, pork whole. Oh. Anyway, I was going through my videos to try and and. Uh, and honey, there's nothing there. I was going through my videos trying to find uh, Lou, uh, the name of the restaurant, because I thought, sure, I did a video on the black bean. I know I did one from Lumberton with the red beans and rice. That was awesome. But the black bean, the Cuban food, oh, ho, ho, ho. Anyway, I thought, I was watching a video today, and... I'm thinking, oh man, it was this guy that was going around to different places saying if he liked the food or if he didn't like the food. And I'm thinking, well, I'm on the road a lot. I'm thinking, you know, I like to do reviews on the restaurant, but I don't know what questions to ask them. So, um, if I happen to do that, it would probably only be like once a week. Yeah, you know, I couldn't do it every day. That'd be just ridiculous amount of money to spend, you know, please. Uh, but what questions would you like to have answered if I were to go in, like, you know, a restaurant? Uh, what questions would you ask them? Uh, what would you want to know? To make you, whether you do want to go there or you never want to go there. Because <laughs> the, the review this guy did was one of Re Reba McIntyre's restaurants in her hometown. And he said he, he, wouldn't, he wouldn't bother going there. Uh, and I'm thinking, hmm, that's helpful to, to know because I was going to go up... Uh, and I, for, I forgot where it was, but I was going to go there, and that might have been fun to go. But after his review, I wouldn't do it because he got, so he got he got uh, country fried steak, country fried chicken, the thing with the white sauce over it. I can't, I don't I think it was chicken. I don't know. Country fried something or other with white gravy over it and potatoes. He got that and a martini. And with that, the tax and tip, it was sixty bucks. Well there's no freaking way I'm gonna put pay sixty bucks for a meal. Bite me. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> That's why I like to find these little hole of all places because they don't, they don't, you know, they don't charge you outrageous prices and the food is usually pretty daggone good. So anyway, he's not going to shut up, so I got to go. Uh, so you guys take it easy, take the long way home, and uh, let me know what you want to know for a place, uh, you know, questions. Okay. So 